Hi, my name is Dan Graverson. I'm the creator of SAP PI for Everybody and I'm an SAP mentor and in this short video I'll give you some ideas on how monitoring can be a challenge and how to get around that. Working with PI of course you have seen that a lot of messages is failing for some kind or another. Uh, messages can fail for two reasons, a technical error, error and a business error. The technical error could be something like something not configured correctly, and mapping is not developed correctly, and something is, is not taken account for in, in that perspective. Uh, some error with communicating with the partner and stuff like that. Those are some of the technical errors that occurs. Uh, maybe a mapping that's done incorrectly is also one of those those kind of things. But on the other end, we also have some some mappings that fails because of a business reasons. For instance, if we are to send out purchase order to uh, purchase order that goes to a, a vendor, and we in some reason created this one manually instead of using the portal or whatever and we expect that there should be some kind of field saying created by uh, this group and author authorized by this one if that those data is not in the mapping and the mapping fails it's not a technical well it ends out as a technical problem but it's more like a business problem because it's something around the business that is not taking all into account, account what they need to do about around these uh, challenges. So in that perspective, the, the business needs to know, okay, we need to stop doing like this and that will not give those errors. So that's why I see that the business and the developers do need to know something about the monitoring and know who has the responsibility at what time. Another one where PI is not really strong is if we are sending some messages and we're expecting a response back and the response doesn't come, then PI is really not suited. PI will just say, this failed because of an error or something like that. It will not see, well, we were expecting five messages from, from this partner today, but we only got four. And but the O4 was handled correctly, so there's no reason for PI to see it as a problem. And that is where the business need to be also involved with the monitoring, because they know we're expecting five, but we only got the four of them. What can we do to get this last uh, message? So that is a business reason. Um, a last one is I've noticed was we're doing some some uh, file transfers to to a partners and then getting some responses back. On the way out, we could use the same generic way of sending the files. On the way back, we needed some different uh, leveling because it was different partners. And well, I hadn't been informed that we're taking this new thing into production. Maybe I hadn't heard, I don't know. But they couldn't respond saying, well, I haven't done anything yet because I didn't expect us to put this thing live yet. So that is some of the reasons you, you need to, to know as a business consultant. Developing and monitoring is not all technical, but you also contain some uh, business reasons. So. I've created the SAP PI for everybody that deals with this gap between developers and business consultants. What do we need to know in order for, for these two parties to connect better with each other? So I've created a video series you can download for watch for free. Just uh, click on to SAP PI for everybody dot com and uh, I'm looking forward to, to see you there until we, we meet again. Goodbye.